We're deep in the heart of Michaux State Forest, right beside Tom's Run. And this area is often overlooked area of importance when talking about the Underground Railroad. A lot of what's covered has to deal with, you know, benevolent families, you know, risking a lot to help freedom seekers with food, shelter. But what often is overlooked is the important role that Michaud State Forest plays. You know, this cover of mixed woods forest provided a, a relatively safe passageway with you know, stops in between. It also provided ample water so that you could refresh yourself on a long journey. In Michaud State Forest, we have several locations that played vital roles in Freedom Seekers' ultimate goal of freedom. We're at the Caledonia Ironworks at the rebuilt furnace. This would have been Freedom Seekers' first real opportunity of entering the, the vast Misho State Forest. Depending on the activity going on in the area, Freedom Seekers could go into the Cumberland Valley and make their way around the foot uh, of Misho Forest. We're at the ruins of the Bunker Hill Farm. This was a late 18th century farm that would have been responsible for feeding the workers at the Pine Grove Iron Furnace. Even though the exact route that people would have taken to get here from Caledonia, it's not well known. If you would take Route 233 and the Appalachian Trail, that is a, a probable estimation of the way that they would have traveled to get to their next destination. We're at the Pine Grove Furnace Stack inside of Michaud State Forest. A community or an iron complex like Pine Grove would have been very important in a couple regards. In one, a place like this would offer employment opportunities uh, to earn real money with relative safety. We know from the records of Pine Grove Furnace, you know, this offered employment for both freeborn and formerly enslaved. Uh, two of the jobs that were most ideal were woodcutter and teamster. From Pine Grove, freedom seekers would have a, a decision to make, and it usually was based on you know, the situation. If there were people that were hostile to abolition, or if there might be slave catchers in the area, they would have to come to the conclusion that, you know, I can continue my journey through Michaud Forest and end up at places like Mount Holly Springs, where there was an iron furnace, and then move on to Boiling Springs, where there was another iron furnace. Uh, and they're seeking out these iron furnaces because they were all surrounded by small African-American communities. If the situation dictated that you could not go that way, they might decide to go directly north through the valley, stopping in a larger town, Carlisle, which also had underground railroad conductors that would aid you on your journey to freedom. We're at the Irish Gap Trailhead access at the foot of Michaud State Forest. And this would have been the eastern limit to a community known as Irish Town. It is remarkable in that it is one of several African-American communities that popped up right around the time of the Civil War. We are in uh, what remains of the Elverson AME Zion Church, which was the church that supported the community of Irish Town. These are the graves remaining. Um, what's notable is that we have a marker, a memorial to some of the Civil War veterans that are buried here. This community was established after local iron furnace, the Cumberland Furnace, ceased iron production. And it's believed that a man named John Sampson was the, the creator of this little hamlet where uh, about 10 houses and then eventually the church and uh, cemetery uh, were located. And this community lasted from right around the Civil War, about 1858 until the 1930s. Most of the time when we come to the Pennsylvania State Forest, we're here to immerse ourselves in the natural beauty surrounding us. But if we take a deeper look, we can see the historical impacts that these sites have on us. 
And when we specifically look at a place like Michaud State Forest, we can see that it has a very rich, important history when it comes to the role that the Underground Railroad played for freedom seekers.